carnivorous plants. Hello there, plant-loving peeps. We are going to learn about carnivorous plants today. If you want to read along with us, you can download this lesson plan from our website, learnbright.org. What are carnivorous plants? Carnivorous plants are a unique group of plant species that eat insects, sometimes even small animals. These plants have interesting ways of catching their food. They live in places where the soil is poor in nutrients, so they have to find other ways to get the nutrients to grow and survive. By catching insects, they can get extra vitamins and minerals to develop properly. These plants are found in different parts of the world. Some grow in swamps and bogs, where the soil is very wet and acidic. Others grow in tropical forests with high humidity. Each type of carnivorous plant has adapted to its environment in its own way. Their ability to eat animals helps them survive and thrive in their specific habitats. Examples of carnivorous plants One famous carnivorous plant is the Venus flytrap. Its leaves are basically jaws that look like clamshells, complete with tiny teeth along the edges. When an insect lands on the leaf, these jaws snap shut very quickly, like a trap. In fact, it can snap shut in less than a second, trapping the insect inside. The plant then digests the insect inside its jaws, using special enzymes to break it down. Each leaf can only do this a few times before it dies, so the Venus flytrap needs to catch enough food to stay healthy. Another carnivorous plant is the pitcher plant. Its leaves form a tall, tube-shaped container that resembles a pitcher or cup. The tube is filled with a liquid that attracts insects with its sweet scent. Insects that fall into the tube cannot escape because the inside walls are slippery. The pitcher plant then uses the liquid to break down the insects and get nutrients from it. Some pitcher plants even have colorful patterns to attract more insects. The sundew is another carnivorous plant. It has tiny, sticky hairs on its leaves that look like dewdrops. The bright, glistening hairs make the plant look like it's covered in tiny jewels. These hairs are little traps that catch insects when they land on the leaves. When an insect touches the sticky hairs, it gets stuck, and the sundew slowly wraps around it. The plant then releases enzymes to digest the insect and absorb its nutrients. Here's a fun name for another meat-eating plant, butterwort. A butterwort is a carnivorous plant with leaves covered in a sticky, glue-like substance that can trap insects. When an insect lands on the leaf, it gets stuck and can't move. The plant uses special chemicals to break down the insect and take in its nutrients. Butterworts often have beautiful, colorful flowers that make them look even more attractive to insects. They are frequently found in sunny areas where they can catch many insects. Diet of Carnivorous Plants All of these plants have different ways of catching their food, but they have one thing in common. They need extra nutrients to grow. They live where the soil does not have enough food for them. That's why they catch and eat insects instead of relying on the soil. When they consume insects, they get the essential nutrients that their soil lacks. This unique method of obtaining nutrients helps them thrive in challenging conditions. Why are they important to the environment? Carnivorous plants are not harmful to people. They only eat small insects and do not pose any danger to humans. In fact, they can help gardeners by keeping bugs away from other plants. They are also stunning and interesting, with their distinctive shapes and colors. So people can enjoy quite a few benefits by putting these kinds of plant species in their gardens or greenhouses. Sadly, some carnivorous plants are in danger of disappearing. Their homes are being damaged by things like buildings and pollution. The Venus flytrap, which only grows in a few places in the Carolinas, is at risk because its home is being taken over. Pitcher plants live in wetlands and are also threatened because their wetland homes are being drained or changed. Sundews 
which grow in bogs, face problems from habitat destruction and climate change. People are working hard to protect these plants by caring for their homes and growing them in special gardens. We can help them as well by learning about them and supporting efforts to keep their homes safe. We just learned a bunch of cool carnivorous plant info. Let's review. True or false, a Venus flytrap can snap shut in less than a second. True. Choose the word the author would say best describes carnivorous plants. A. Common. B. Vibrant. C. Herbivore. D. Swift. Or E. Aquatic. B. Vibrant. What do all carnivorous plants have in common? They all live in places where there aren't enough nutrients in the soil. Great job, friends! If you liked learning with us, make sure to head over to LearnBright.org for even more fun lesson plans. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at LearnBright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.